Let's talk about the first day of green team. What happens? Um, we show up and you do a screen test. Show up and you do a physical test. It's the only known in the entire selection process. You know exactly what it is. It's written on a piece of paper. Everybody knows what it is. If you're not cranking out 120 push-ups, 140 sit-ups, 30 pull-ups, like you're, you're last. Like if you do the minimums, you're not going. You have to be a freak. Um, which was good. We were afforded a lot of time to train and get ready for it and a lot of time in a shoot house, a lot of time shooting, mentally preparing for it. Two different schools of thought. You could try to survive it. You could try to polish all the way through and come out at the end and be more capable. My advice that uh, I was given to me was take every day, like it's your last day, and try to absorb as much knowledge out of that fucking place as possible. And that's what I did every day. Um, there's a lot of pressure to perform. We talked about that addiction. It's like you see the best dude I've ever worked with just got dropped. I'm like, why am I still here? I don't really care. So one more day. Do they tell you why you get dropped? Yeah. They do? No, yeah, they tell you. I mean, yeah, I mean, it's team guy to team guy. They tell you exactly why. And looking back on it now, um, that's exactly how it has to be because you know what the end state is. I mean, it's hard for people to hear, like your ego gets put in check, but you're not good enough to be here. Whether that be a person, personality thing, a performance thing, it doesn't really matter. Like, you can try to come back or you can't. Does everybody have the option to come back? No. Nope. Or do you have to be invited back? Be invited back. <laughs> and you get a bunch of dudes, uh, a bunch of the guys that have already made it, come out and they watch you. And they hold for you for sit-ups. They count your push-ups. They count your sit-ups. They tell you if you pull up to right, and that is a very intimidating thing. Like you're, you're a college football player, and you're coming out to, for your pro debut, and Tom Brady's throwing footballs to you. Oh shit! Yeah, <laughs> no pressure. And back in the day, um, they look like Vikings. I mean, super long hair, big long beards, and they look fucking mean. They did, and it was intimidating, and I loved it. <laughs> So what's it like when you uh, when you graduate when you're in? Um, anticlimactic. Really? Mm -hmm. No tradition. Is there any traditions you can talk about when you make it in? Or um, yeah, when you get in there. But uh, we can, we graduated green team. They came in. They read a bunch of names off, and then they said what squadron they were going to, and read off a bunch of names. He's like, all right, get in the trucks. That's it. Yeah, we got in the trucks and we went out and we did a, an FMP that night. Big full mission profile. Like, we knew where we were going. And it was like, I, I didn't have a cell phone. I couldn't, couldn't tell my wife. I'm just like, because where I wanted to go was exactly where I went. Um, and I wasn't shy about asking where I wanted to go. <laughs> so, I mean, um, it was like all my dreams had come true.